That's talking about the Yuxin Old Railway that connects China with Europe by crossing the vast Eurasian landmass. The 11,179-kilometer Yixin O International Railway Line, often referred to as the Modern Silk Road, begins in Chongqing in southwest China, crosses the Alatov Pass into Kazakhstan, then moves into Russia, Belarus, and Poland before arriving in Germany. Railway began operations in 2011. Unlike on previous trips, though, which only transported products from China to Europe, for the first time, products have been brought back from Europe to Chongqing on the same route. Liu Yang brings us more. Starting from Duisburg, Germany, a 17-day journey through five countries finally brings this valuable shipment of vehicle components to the Chang'an Ford Chongqing factory in China's southwest. Since 2011, the rail line has transported more than 2.5 billion U.S. dollars worth of products from China to Europe. But now, goods are coming into China as well. If the trains arrive empty, it does not help us in reducing transportation costs. Then it's not conducive for the formation of the global trade link. The rail line is vital for foreign companies operating in Chongqing and for Western China's economic development. With a train, you can go from 15 days or 19 days, depending upon the speed of the train and how many times you have to stop for customs. So cost efficiency, scale, the ability to quickly transport goods, especially goods that devalue in cost over time, it's critical to the infrastructure and to the development of Chongqing. According to the Ministry of Commerce, in the first three quarters of 2012, trade between China and Europe reached about 420 billion U.S. dollars. China has been relying on its advantages in labor and resources to export manufactured products to Europe. The Yuxin O has given significant advantages to Chongqing and to the economic growth of Western China. After two years in operation, Yuxin O railway system has resolved the customs clearance of each country along the way. Regular services set the scene for Chongqing to become the distribution center of European trade with China. Experts stress that they will be aiming to reduce the logistic costs to enhance the line's economic value this year. Liu Yang, CCTV, Chongqing.